Dr. Kevin Rice, radiologist at Valley Presbyterian Hospital. Today we're going to be doing a bone marrow biopsy for a patient with hand cytopenia. We're going to be using the on-control bone marrow biopsy system, which uses a power handle. And uh, it's actually more comfortable for the patient. We get a larger specimen for the pathologist, and uh, it's much, much faster. It's better for the pathologist, better for the patient, and better for the radiologist. Um, before we begin, uh, you can see there's an X on the skin here. The way we got that there is we did a CT scan first and uh, looked at the best spot to do the biopsy, put some um, metal BBs on the skin, and then did the scan. We picked the middle BB, that's where the X is. And it's gonna first, we do the uh, core prep. Okay. The other advantage of doing it in radiology is uh, we have a wonderful nurse here who's giving the patient some medication to help her Hello. the procedure. Yes. I'm making her comfortable. And she's feeling very relaxed now. So you have the chloroprim, now the sterile drape. Okay. Now the lidocaine, one percent. Okay, you're gonna feel a little needle poke here. You see anesthesia. All right, might sting a bit. Okay, so that frees the skin. Then what I do is use a spinal needle, just a little bit longer, and gets to the, the bone. So the idea here is you can't freeze the bone, but you can freeze the periosteum. So usually you're okay with 10 ml, 1% line of pain. So, not that in. Now, back here, this, this is the power handle. So my tech, David, has already put it in the uh, sterile bag, but it was just dropped in. The handle is not sterile, so we put it in a sterile bag. And then the little wires. I'm going to get this needle in place. All right. So you can make a nick in the skin. My tray comes with a scalpel, but I find if you just gently uh, advance a little twisting motion, you can get it through the skin nicely and then less bleeding afterwards. So we got it in place. Now I attach the power handle. Yeah. So we're going to go in a little less than a centimeter. Right. So now we're in place. Now we're going to get a CAT scan. To make sure it's in the exact uh, location that we want it to be and the angle is correct. The tip is just at the, uh, just through the cortex actually. The fall just likes it. I want to get the small syringe first. If I pull back quickly, they get a lot of particles. So that's what we're going to do here. Might not be in far enough, but let's give it a try. You may feel something there. Here's some goats. So we got about, about two. ML. Now we'll get the rest for a total of about 10. Now we're going to get the bone marrow sample. All right. All right. So that's our sample. I'm going to take it out of here in a second. So now we have the uh, bone marrow specimen in this needle. Knock that off. Now, we are going to get the specimen out of the needle. Very important to put on this sharps protector so that the end of the needle is sharp. Put this on and then this is a blunt tip so it pushes the specimen out. So I'm going to just push it onto a slide. It can be a little bit of 
backbone uh, aspirate first and then we can feel the bone marrow come out. It should be about 4 cm long which is there you go. Wow. So a great specimen there. I'm just very happy. How happy is our pathologist? Okay. And the patient's happy. We've got our uh, tech, David, here. Putting some pressure on this uh, on the site for the last few minutes. It's a biopsy site now. So, just needs a band-aid. Then we'll be all set. Thanks for watching.